is Randy C. Graves and I'm the curriculum director of the Junior Master Gardener program. Now, we've worked with schools throughout the country. We've learned some tips of having a successful school garden project and there is a sport to starting a school garden and we want to share those tips with you. Yes, it starts small and make it easy. There are lots of options when having a school garden project with kids, but make something that's easy for you to manage. There's a quick and easy school garden kit on the Junior Master Gardener website that shows videos and infographics of how to start a garden project from getting the materials to building it to planting it. So it makes it super easy. So those resources are at jmgkids.us slash getting started. With that garden kit, you can have a, a start to finish 45 minute garden build with the help of one volunteer with a drill. The P is planning ahead. Planning ahead helps ensure sustainability. There's a lot of initial enthusiasm that can come to get a garden project started, but it takes more than that to make a project be sustainable in the long term. We recommend use of the new Learn, Grow, Eat, Go curriculum. In that easy to follow curriculum, it takes you and your class to step by step through all aspects of having a garden project. The O is others. You want to share ownership with lots of other people. Parents and volunteers are a great source of talent. Through a few emails, you can tap those resources and have them assigned to specific tasks to help along the way. Soliciting donations from businesses can be a huge resource and shares ownership of the program as well. If you're going to buy 10 bags of soil, asking a donation for, for three or five of those bags can go a long way to having some contribution and ownership from that local business. And most importantly, the kids. The kids can be involved in all aspects of the garden selection and the build and the maintenance. There's so much learning that goes into those as individuals. So sharing the ownership of a larger group of people helps ensure success. R is recognizing efforts of others. At the classroom level, you're gonna recognize your kids and their work that they do. There are certifications kids can earn as they complete portions of the program. At the school and community level, you're gonna recognize the great things your class is doing and the great things that are happening in milestone events, whether it's the planting or the harvesting or service learning experience your kids are plugging into, that's a great way to be able to show good things that are happening. And also creating a culture of gratitude within the class itself and the kids itself. For all those people that are supporting the garden project from parent volunteers to school secretaries to maintenance people to businesses donating, having a committee of kids be ones who are looking for ways to recognize those contributions is important. There's one lesson within the Learn, Grow, and Go curriculum that specifies how to do that exactly. And the T is teachable moments. In the course of having a school garden project, teachable moments will arise. Don't skip them, don't postpone them, don't look past them, you want to look for them. You're gonna have things happen such as kids planting vegetables too close together and there's gonna be reduced yields, that's a teachable moment. You're gonna have some kids playing nearby and maybe a basketball bounces into the garden and damages it. There's some teachable moments that arise from that. You may wait too long to harvest your broccoli and yellow broccoli flowers pop up. Those are some great teachable moments that will arise in front that aren't planned but will be great teachable moments that can last a lifetime.